Hello, this is Mark here at Gary's Guitars, and today we're going to have a little talk about acoustic guitars and how they degrade. Um, if you have a car and it lasts you 15 years, you count yourself lucky. If you have a guitar and it's 50 years old and there's a problem with it, you're surprised. <laughs> so we all just assume guitars are supposed to last for generations, and it's not always the case. Especially now that we're seeing that first crop of inexpensive plywood Asian made guitars from the 70s and 80s reach a um, reach an age to which they have begun to degrade. Um, so this can happen to any guitar. It can be because of cruel situations like you don't humidify enough or um, you don't dehumidify enough or um, stuff like that or it can just be the guitar is programmed to self-destruct. You have 200 pounds of pressure on the strings and a hole in the middle and everything's going to want to fold up eventually so we're going to have a look at a guitar to which these things are just starting to happen um, talk a little, bit, a little bit about what you can do and um, see if we can shine some light on the subject here we have our demonstration guitar today's demonstration guitar will be an, an Ibanez um, I, I did just kind of bad mouth plywood guitars, but actually plywood guitars can be cool, and they can be durable. Uh, it's not that plywood guitars um, degrade faster, it's just that they degrade, degrade in their own special way. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about, so we're going to talk about top distortion. There's that hole I was talking about. Everything wants to pull itself into the hole. So, what happens is you get bridge rotation. The bridge rotates this way a little bit. And that often makes, I don't know if we can see on this video, a belly on this side and a dip on this side around the hole. So a lot is done to kind of reinforce the hole. There's uh, usually some extra bracing in here that um, no one wants their guitar to fail because uh, there's warranty issues and reputation issues, but uh, these things happen. So. Let's see if we can glance across the top there and see what's happening. Not quite, but to describe it, there's a belly here, there's a dip here, the bridge is rotated forward, and the other half of that is the neck often tilts this way. It can do it two ways. On this plywood guitar, it's managed to just tilt completely and not, this is what we call the neck joint. This neck joint is not compromised at all. But the neck has, the neck to body angle has changed. And so the entire neck block, the top, everything associated with it has just gone. And it just takes a little bit to throw things off. So your guitar should have positive neck set, meaning the neck is set backwards. It's down from the top. What happens over time is the neck sets become zero or they become negative. Let's see if we can kind of sight this one while we're looking at it here. So when you look at across the top, you just want to see the nut peeking over the top. And now we can see the whole neck. So that means that neck angle has changed a bit. Oh, and they also degrade when you slam them on the counter. So, uh, what does this do? Well, it makes your action high. Daily, people walk in and say, my action's too high. Um, sometimes a neck adjustment is the solution for high action. Um, sometimes lowering it the saddle is the easiest thing to do. This saddle has been lowered. Um, see how that, that high E string is just barely off the bottom. It's been lowered about as much as you can. You go too much lower and you lose your downward pressure on the back side. So the string has to cross the saddle and then get pulled down a little bit to make this point a real stoppage. And um, so there's only so far you can lower the saddle and then that's it. Um, a bridge reset sometimes can, uh, if, the, if the bridge comes off, we can thin a bridge and put it back on. There is the neck reset which is uh, on a quality solid top guitar is a viable option but on this guitar not really a viable option it's only worth a couple of hundred dollars maybe 
especially in this condition. And a neck resets $350, $500. Um, it's a complicated procedure, especially if the neck, in this case, is not coming off. Every once in a while, you got a neck that's coming off, and you can just kind of pop it right off. This neck would come off with a great deal of effort. And then you would reset the neck so that your neck set again is positive. And it will be good until, and so here's the thing, until. Does this stop? Yeah, it seems to stop sometimes, like on this guitar. Uh, this guitar has been like this for years. Sometimes guitars get to this point. And they're just kind of shored themselves up. They're, they're done folding in half for a little while. And it could stay like this for years. Um, the biggest culprit out there are the Yamaha Red Label series. Everyone, uh, these are a hot guitar right now. Everyone's like, ooh, I found myself a Yamaha Red Label guitar. These, you know, because they sounded great. They were, you know, I have a friend who went and tried a Martin and a Yamaha and bought the Yamaha because it sounded better back in 1970 something or other. Um, those guitars sound great, look great, but they often have a lot of these problems going on. They often need neck resets. Some are worth resetting, some aren't. It depends whether, you know, the value of the guitar and and then, um, you know, sometimes it's just sentimental. You want to fix up a guitar. So, those are the signs of guitar degradation once again uh, there are some repairs um, they do slow down their degradation over time sometimes sometimes it speeds up sometimes the bridge comes off I was mentioning top uh, bridge rotation sometimes the whole thing will just kind of rip right off because of that pressure especially if it was poorly attached at first um, and that motion of the, the rotation uh, if your bridge begins to come up, it's best to have it reset rather than to wait for it to fall off. When it actually falls off, it can do terrible things. So, um, to sum up, once again, not the end of the world. This happens. Um, guitars, even though there's, we think they can last generations, some last uh, about 15, 20 years and then get tired. So thanks for watching this video. Please watch the other videos on YouTube. Blah 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 blah. You know, subscribe and check out our live feed and all that good stuff. Gary's Guitars, Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Thank you for watching.